Hey everyone, today's video is going to be an Asda Christmas taste test. So if you've not seen my last video, I showed you guys everything that I picked up from Asda and the prices and everything. And then in today's video, I'm going to be trying it for you guys, letting you know my thoughts, letting you know what things I recommend and what things I maybe don't recommend. So I've got a few different bits and pieces to try today. I did mention in the last video, there were a couple of things I picked up and then I've already eaten before filming this video because I had intended to film it like a week ago and then life just got a little bit too busy. So things were going out of date and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna eat a few things and I'll just share my thoughts. So apologies that this is not like a first time taste test for a couple of these items. But the first thing that I've tried already is this Asda plant-based festive feast wrap. Now this I would rate probably like a nine out of 10. I really enjoyed this. I really liked all the flavors. It had like a really good amount of stuff in it. They definitely weren't stingy. I'm a huge fan of like most Christmas flavors. Like I love chutneys, I love sage and onion. So this worked for me. I really liked the sage and onion mayo. The chutney was like quite a prominent flavor, I would say. So if you're not a big fan of chutney, maybe one to avoid. It says it's a spiced fruit chutney, but I feel like it just tastes like a standard Christmas chutney. So I really liked it, but I can see why that maybe wouldn't be to everyone's taste. And then in terms of the vegetables, it's got roast carrots, parsnips and red cabbage. It also had a bunch of spinach, which I feel like supermarkets normally always do to sandwiches to like bulk them out a bit. So the spinach was probably like my least favorite part. It kind of took up space where I would have rather had like the actual Christmas vegetables. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this. And then the other thing that I picked up and I have tried already is this Asda plant-based coleslaw. This is not necessarily like from their Christmas range, but I feel like a lot of people do buy it at Christmas for like the big spreads. And I really enjoyed this. I mean, it's just a basic coleslaw. Not a huge amount to say. I'm a big fan of coleslaw and this tasted okay to me. So I would definitely pick this up again. Would probably give it like an eight out of 10. Okay, so moving on to the bits I'm actually gonna be trying today. I think I'm gonna start with the party food just before it gets too cold. So I've got a few different bits and pieces to try today. I'm gonna start with the thing that I'm most excited about and that is these little cheese and chili bites. I think they're just called. So little triangles with chili vegan alternative to cheddar and mozzarella and I think they also said there's like roasted red pepper in here which in my opinion is a little bit rogue but I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy these. This is what the inside looks like so not super cheesy there is actually a lot of red pepper in there and that is like the first flavour that I feel like hits you when you take a bite the chilli then comes after like it's hit the back of my throat it's not super spicy but it is definitely in my throat and taste wise it tastes really good it literally just tastes like red pepper not super strong on the cheese front i don't think which i feel like most people would prefer because vegan cheese can be a little bit hit or miss and the filling is definitely more of like a soft cheese consistency rather than like a mozzarella stick which i think is quite similar to the morrison's one although i don't remember the morrison's one having any sort of like red pepper in them but overall really good really really like these i would maybe give them like a nine out of ten next i'm going to try the little festive shapes so i've got a star a christmas tree and this one which i think is meant to be a snowman i wasn't sure on the packet but i can see the little holes in it so i feel like they were going for snowman although it looks like a pretty tragic snowman but i feel like these are just going to taste like any standard like potato smiley yeah they're nothing special. I would give them like a six out of 10. They're pretty bland. I feel like they're even more bland than a regular potato waffle. Definitely needs salt, definitely needs like ketchup. But if you're having like a little kids party or something, they would be fun. I mean, the snowman isn't super great in terms of actual like visuals, but the Christmas tree and the stars are cute. So maybe for a kids party, personally wouldn't buy them again and definitely needs like some salt. Yeah, they're so dry as well. And then finally on my little plate of party food, I've got one of the vegan duck spring rolls to try. I mentioned this in the haul. I can't remember if I tried the ones from Asda last year. So quite possibly I tried them last year. I might as well see if my opinion has changed at all. I feel like generally vegan spring rolls are pretty good. So I think I'll probably like this one. That is good. That is really good. It's really well filled. Got a really good hoisin flavor. Textures like pretty non-existent. I feel like most people would eat these without a problem. I think last year there were like a mix of different vegan duck alternatives used in the spring rolls. I think some people use jackfruit, some people use like soy protein. I'm actually not sure what one this is. I feel like I would say jackfruit because it feels quite soft, but I think it tastes good. I would definitely get these again. I feel like these are like a, a solid eight out of 10. And then the final savory item that I've got to try 
are these. These are the Free From Wednesday Dell and Cranberry flavoured tortilla chips. So I've not tried anything this flavour before, so I'm very intrigued. I'm pretty much only smelling like tortilla chip, so I'm not sure how strong these are going to be. I mean, they definitely look like a Christmas tree though, so that's cute. Okay, so they taste more than they smell. It's a relatively subtle flavour. I'm definitely getting like cheesy vibes. I'm not sure if I'm getting cranberry, although I don't know what like a, a cranberry flavoured crisp would taste like. I feel like I must be tasting the cranberry to a certain extent because it definitely tastes like the vegan Wednesday Dell and cranberry cheeses that I've tried. So I feel like they've nailed it. It's not super strong in flavour, but I feel like most people would probably like that. I feel like a cheese flavour that's super strong can sometimes be a little bit too much. But I feel like these these are a win. I would buy these again. I feel like I'm definitely going to enjoy the whole bag of them. And the shapes are really cute. Like, this would be a fun thing to have at a little Christmas party with some dips. Tesco actually have, like, a vegan dip selection this year. So this with that, I feel like would be a great combo. I would maybe give them, like, I want to say 8 out of 10 again. But I feel like I'm saying that for every item. But... I would say another 8 out of 10. Mm. Moving on to the sweet bits, I've got these cranberry and orange OT cookies to try. These again are from the free from section, so I'm not sure if that's potentially going to make their texture a little bit weird. They just look like this, so a pretty standard oat cookie. Smells quite orangey. That's good. That is really good. It's definitely more of like a crumbly oat texture than like a chewy oat cookie. I generally prefer chewy cookies over like crunchy ones, but I feel like this would be a good tea dipping biscuit. I feel like they're giving me very similar vibes to the Tesco ones that I tried. Pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely going to enjoy the whole box of these. Probably wouldn't buy them again just because they're a little bit more expensive being in the free from section and I don't often crave like a biscuit like this, but I'm going to enjoy the whole box. Like, they taste really good. I have nothing negative to say about them. The texture is a little bit dry, but I feel like that's to be expected with this type of biscuit. Flavour is good. It's got like a nice orange flavour. It doesn't taste too artificial. Don't really taste a whole lot of cranberry, but I think there's like little cranberry pieces. So it probably depends on like how much cranberry is in your bite, but I have no complaints. Again, a little bit of a cop out, but I would say eight out of 10. The next thing isn't specific to Asda. I'm pretty sure they sell these in most supermarkets. But I've got a little Nomo reindeer to try and I'm so excited about this because it's got cookie dough in the middle and I just, I don't even know if I've had like a non-vegan chocolate like that which has cookie dough in the middle so very intrigued to try this. Nomo chocolate is just so good. There's not actually like a huge amount of the cookie dough in there but the chocolate is so good and the cookie dough that is in there does like a good texture. I feel like it's got like a little bit of saltiness to it which is really nice and there's like something crunchy. I don't know if there's like bits of chocolate within the cookie dough as well or if that's just like the chocolate outing but that is like amazing I would maybe even give that like a 10 out of 10 I feel like that would be such a good stocking filler you can't really go wrong with no mo I haven't tried something that they do yet that I haven't enjoyed and it's just fun it's in the shape of like a reindeer shape it's not crazy expensive it's pretty sweet like my teeth hurt a little bit when I bit into that but I do have very sensitive teeth and I don't really have a huge sweet tooth and I would still enjoy like one of these so really really enjoyed that 10 out of 10 i have no complaints i feel like this has been a very successful taste test so far but i do have one other thing to try and that is a dessert so i've got these plant-based lemon cheesecakes layered with zingy lemon non-dairy cream and a crumbly biscuit base so i've not had a lemon cheesecake in such a long time but i don't know how much i'm gonna love this but before i was vegan lemon was definitely my favorite flavor of cheesecake I'm gonna have to get like a good spoon with a bit of everything on it texture wise it looks really good it smells quite yogurty. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but that tastes like lime to me. No, maybe it is lemon. It tastes like quite an artificial lemon flavour. I feel like it tastes like lemon and lime ice lollies or like lemon and lime flavouring rather than actual lemon. Like it doesn't have any sort of like tartness to it. The cream cheese bit is really good. It's really like fluffy, almost like a mousse. Although I don't think it's got like a cream cheese sort of flavour. I feel like sometimes with cream cheese you get that sort of tartness, is it tartness? Sourness? Like a little bit of tang to it that you get from dairy cheese that I think it's quite hard to recreate with non-dairy cheese. So I don't think it has that in its flavour, but it tastes really good. And then the biscuit base isn't like anything crazy special. I prefer it when it's got like a little bit more crunch to it, whereas where it's in this like pot it's clearly quite soft where all the moisture is like sitting on it for such a long time. So not my favourite like biscuit base, but overall not bad. I would definitely have these again. I would maybe give them like a 7 out of 10. 
I think they might have some other flavors, so I'd be tempted to try some of them. I feel like a strawberry cheesecake would work really well like this. I think it's just like the artificialness of the top that's putting me off slightly. It just doesn't taste how I was expecting it to taste, but I feel like maybe if you've had something like this more recently and then you try the vegan version, you might have like a better judgment because it's been so long since I've had anything like this that I really have no idea, but generally pretty good. Definitely gonna enjoy this. Definitely would buy them again, but maybe would give it like a seven out of 10. So that is everything that I picked up to try in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you've tried from Asda that you really recommend me picking up because I feel like my Asda just didn't have the right stuff out when I went and I feel like they have a lot more to offer. But generally this has been such a good taste test. Like the average score is probably a solid eight. So no complaints. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.